ladies and gentlemen, one of the nominees for Best Stand-Up Comedian of the Year, Mr. Richard Jenny. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. A show business award is a little like a social disease, you know? Nobody really deserves it, but if you screw around long enough, you're bound to get one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> and yet, people are nervous about it. I don't know why. I don't even know why I'm rambling about awards. People waste too much time in this country as it is. Case in point, why did it take so long to figure out what to do with this guy, Jeffrey Dahmer? I'm not a lawyer or anything, but to me, once the guy admits he's a cannibal, is there a lot left to discuss? I mean, what is there? How many things are there to talk about? To me, this should be the trial. Are you a cannibal? Yes, I am. Next, that should be the end. How many things are there to discuss with the guy? I mean, if you were his lawyer, what could you possibly, you know, you're gonna go out, Your Honor, I'd like to plead insanity. Well, what's the judge? Well, dip me in mustard and call me hot dog. <laughs> this is a surprise. Insanity? I thought he was a perfectly normal cannibal. <laughs> you have blowtorched my legal butt with this one, counselor. I'll have to retire to my chambers and consider this new evidence. Don't you think, though, there was one guy home? It had to be like one lawyer home watching this whole thing, thinking, I could get him off, damn it. Damn it, if it was me, I could get him off. You let me out in that courtroom, I'll razzle-dazzle him. Get Dahmer free, I'll be out there, you'll be the jury. I'd be like, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. It is true that my client, Mr. Dahmer here, has admitted to killing and eating a couple of dozen innocent human beings, but before we rush to judgment, let's put this thing in perspective, shall we? Are we to judge this young man by a couple of dozen mistakes? Or are we to consider the thousands of people that he hasn't eaten at all? Now, has he taken a bite out of anyone in this courtroom? Mr. Prosecutor, has he come at you with a knife and fork and a jar of mayonnaise? I think not. Yet he stands accused of the alleged crime of cannibalism. I put it to you that cannibalism is not necessarily a crime. Either there are cannibals in Africa killing and eating people all the time. Why aren't they going to jail? Why isn't there a naked native man with purple paint on his breast and a huge dinner plate in his lower lip on that stand right now? <laughs> well, I think we all know the reason why, and I'm not afraid to say it. This trial is racially motivated. <laughs> if Mr. Dharma were an African cannibal instead of one from Milwaukee, he'd be walking the streets of Fremont. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show. You've been a great crowd. Good night.